Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. Today we are reviewing this Bozal Mescal Quiche. Now, <laughs> there's this quite a few pronunciations. If you've ever seen or heard anybody talking about Quiche, uh, they might pronounce it differently than what we're pronouncing it today. However, that's what we're going with, Quiche. All right, I've heard Quiche, Quiche, Quiche. A whole bunch of different pronunciations, but we are going with Quiche, all right? And this is actually a really unique mezcal offering. It's made from a really unique uh, my way itself, the Agave Quiche. You would be able to see, I'm going to show you a picture. It's one of the most physically distinct species of Agave. It's a subspecies of the Karwinski family of Agave, and it grows vertically as a single stalk with its leaves spreading out at the top. Now, I'm reading this directly from the Bozal website, linked down in the description, uh, so you can check it out on your own as well. They say, due to the unusual structure and the stalk containing the firmer piña material, the quiche can be difficult to harvest and to work with in general. This agave offers aromas full of tropical fruit with a dry, piney, and mineral finish. Uh, what's really unique about this mezcal is it does taste wild. If you've only drank Esparines, which is really the the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the most common uh, mezcal and agave to use for mezcal, having the squishy is going to be completely different. It tastes wild. It tastes unique. Uh, some people say you either love it or you hate it, but it's actually a really unique bottle of Bozal. <clears throat> so taking a look at this bottle, one thing you'll first know uh, when you pick it up, it's it's heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. You can use this as a club. If you need something, uh, you're, in, you're in a tight situation, you got this around you, uh, you could definitely protect yourself with this bottle. It is heavy. Uh, so, Bozal, you got the Quiche, single my way. 47% uh, alcohol. You got some of this information on the back. So, again, that Agave Karwinski. It's made in San Luis. Uh, up in Owaka, and from NOM0472X. This over here, the importation, you got your sticker, and that's that's pretty much it. At the top, you got the neck label, and then just a common a common cork with a uh, single my way up at the top. So, let's pop this bad boy open, moving on over, and... Let's hear that bottle pop. That was a good one. Got my cup. Let's pour it out and take a little smell and a little sip. If you ever had this mezcal, please let us know down in the comments. This video actually came from taking a vote. I have both this bottle and the Espadine as well. And I asked everybody on Instagram to take a vote what review they wanted to see and hear. And this was the clear winner. With that being said, if you haven't already subscribed or followed us on anything like Instagram or Twitter, please do that now, as well as give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. So, I'm going to move the camera up. All right. Let's take a little take a little sniff here, see what it smells like. Um, it's Again, it's such a unique smell. It really is. It's a very unique mezcal. This species of agave is is wild that's all i can say uh, it's like there's just so much going on even with the smell I, I i couldn't even tell you let me take a little sip mm. uh, the perfect way to describe this mezcal like i keep saying is wild it tastes like something straight from the earth it's got it might sound gross like a dirt flavor uh, like a minerally flavor but it's so unique it's so interesting i highly recommend you trying this from their website it says it has a dry entry it is kind of dry um, intense citrus and strong minerality again it's kind of that that dirt taste really interesting uh, but it does have even some notes of tropical fruit and even sweet potato. It tastes green, like you're getting vegetal notes in the mouth. Um, and it's got that dry, smoky finish. 
It's not really going to coat your mouth or coat your tongue. It is kind of dry. But uh, overall, this is an amazing mezcal for the price as well. Quishis can get up there. Uh, this is not a bad bottle to have. I would highly recommend this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So unique. I would absolutely recommend this, especially um, to give people, if you ever have somebody over and you're, you're maybe trying out some tequila, you're trying out mezcal, you pull this out and say, hey, let me blow your mind. This is going to be that bottle of tequila, especially for people. I mean, that bottle of mezcal, especially if people have never tasted mezcals or tequilas a lot. It's just going to be an experience. So that's it for, for this bottle of Bozal, Quiche. We love it. Uh, we would highly recommend this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like I said before, hit that like button as well as subscribe to us and also follow us on all other social media channels. We appreciate you being here. Let your bottles pop and take care.